all chest tube collection systems are based on a three bottle system. Here's our three bottle chest tube collection system. So we've talked about the collection bottle in a three bottle system. Fluid from the chest collects into bottle one. Air from the chest tube bubbles into bottle two. Bottle two is the water seal of the system. The water seal is usually two centimeters, meaning the tube going into the water is submerged under two centimeters. A water seal of two centimeters means that air coming from the chest tube must overcome the pressure of two centimeters of water to escape. The water seal of any chest tube system detects air coming from the chest tube. The water seal is also called the air leak monitor. The water seal also functioned as a check valve, preventing air from entering the chest from the chest tube system, hence the name water seal. Well, here's the water seal of this system. And again, the water seal of any chest tube system is usually two centimeters of water. The water seal of any chest tube system will detect air coming from the chest tube. When should the water seal bubble? Well, that depends on the clinical situation every single time. So should the water seal be bubbling? Well, is air coming from the pneumothorax? Does this person have a pneumothorax and we're trying to pull the air out of their pleural space? Well, for the air to get out of the pleural space, it's going to have to bubble through the water seal. If the chest tube is for a pneumothorax, then we expect air to bubble in the water seal, but we expect it to decrease over time. Well, is the air coming from a leak at the insertion site? Or is there a leak in the chest tube connection? The water seal here is identifying a problem with a leak at the insertion site or a bad chest tube connection. Well, when should the water seal stop bubbling? Has the air stopped because the punctured lung is healed and the pneumothorax is resolved? That's an excellent reason for the water seal to stop bubbling. However, maybe the water seal is not bubbling because there's an obstruction in the chest tube. Remember tension pneumothorax? If we put a chest tube in someone with a tension pneumothorax, then we're going to expect the water seal to bubble while they recover. If the water seal stops bubbling in a patient with a tension pneumothorax, that might indicate obstruction in the chest tube, especially if there's a hemothorax and we're draining blood through the chest tube. That can cause clots to form in the chest tube and obstruct the chest tube to where the tension pneumothorax can progress and be lethal. So when should the water seal stop bubbling? That depends on the clinical situation every single time. So any changes in the chest tube output whether fluid or bubbling, should be re reported immediately. The water seal on this system detects air coming from the chest tube because they use a different check valve. So here our water seal does not function as a check valve. They have a separate check valve. Nowadays they'll call this the air leak indicator instead of the water seal. An advanced feature of the water seal is to measure negative pleural pressure during inspiration. So while somebody is drawing air in, in this system, we'll see water come up into this column to indicate inspiratory pleural pressure during inhalation.